Hello everybody and welcome back to Factorio 1.0 and we're back here in the setup base so we just created kind of like the space here we're still defending ourselves against one critter camp so far and we've automated the iron plates now I've got another assembling machine up here for more magazines since these attacks are going to be increased in frequency and um, we're also going to have lots of more science packs here so that we can continue with a decent and steady research on the lab where we are going to finish our resources soon. So it's time for a next processing um, automation that we have, and that is for the iron wheels. We do need quite a lot of iron wheels in the course of this game. So I want to set up a little iron wheel production just on this side. So remember, I want to have my labs up here, right? So we're doing, going to need lots of space around it where all of those things are coming together. So, oops, we have finished another tag. So heavy armor will be my next tag. This gives me another heavy armor upgrade so I can survive a bit longer against those attacks. So let's get our belt. Let's get our first belt then just in here so there we can have then the assembling machines are aligned to that. Um, once again, we do have the major belt here. So actually what I'm going to do, wait a second, I want to have a splitter here. So here we can have the splitter. And the splitter is then, as the name says, going to split up the iron plates to this side here. So we're going to need other things then as well out of iron plate and then we can, you know, split that into several parts, several sections that we needed to. Now we have the assembling machine, the first one for the wheels and I'm going to have another belt beside it because there we have the wheels on it then. And this one is then going to be transporting the wheels to this side here where we're going to have then the science pack automation. So there we have the copper um, the wheels are coming in and then we can have the science pack automation that is being brought to the labs then. Right, so let's have our things set up for that. We do need, we do need um, a few more of these longhand inserters. We do need also, now that we've unlocked them, the fast inserter, right? So this is a much faster um, inserter than the inserter, the normal one, even though at this point we don't need the fastest ones. It's still a nice thing to have them right away. And then the only thing that we need here is actually... Some assembly machines, those here. And I can then still have the same thing on this side here as well. And I could scale it, you know, so I could put many, many more of these assembly machines than side by side if I want to later. And I probably will have to, I guess. Now let's get the longhand inserters up. They're going to deliver then the wheels to the final belt. Right, -o. and then we only need the short ones. So in this case here, it's the blue one in that case. And they're going to put the iron plates into the assembling machine. I need one more. Right, -o. all is set up. The only thing that's missing now is electricity. So there we have our poles. And let's just get that over here to my assembling. And as we can see, it is starting on that then right away. Very good. Quite quickly too. As we can see, we need actually we can process a lot of that now with the iron plate and the ratio is actually almost quite fine. And lots of these wheels are coming out. Very good. We need more of the assembling machines. There we have them, quite a few of them. Because now next up is the copper plates, right? We do need lots of copper plates. So I'm going to also start now my copper plate production, my electrical copper plate production. Get rid of those poles there we don't need them and that's going to be here so for that we do need the electrical mining inserters we already have quite a few of them and it's basically the same outfit as this one here however we don't need to place the whole thing here manually ourselves anymore but we can just copy it and i think this is new with the version 1.1 because i'm not using any mods here and as we can see we can then just use the whole thing and place it onto the copper field now for that however we still need to get rid of the debris here so we do have a few the breeze from the starship and also our copper production and a little later all we need to do really is put the poles in here again and on the other side as well so all of them have now electricity and then connected finally with our coal that we have then just here so what we need around here is nothing else than another splitter Now the coal is being transported to my iron plates and on the other side over here to my copper plates. And now the machines are starting to work and let the beauty begin. I absolutely love that we don't have to place that ourselves anymore. 
but we can just copy now the whole layout if we want to. And that makes it also much easier to get rid of the whole layout and just replace it again with something else if we feel like it. Now we do have the copper plates, we do have the wheels coming out here. So all we need now really for our automated science pack here is, yeah, another automation assembling machine, this one here. So I think what we might have, we have lots of space here. So let's just stick to this area, right? So I don't waste that much space. So all we need here is that going then all the way to that side. The thing is because we can double that, triple that production here on that field easily. So we do need a bit of room around it then to have more belts going around it, right? So we do need a bit of more space in between those things. The same thing then here, if we want to have more wheels, then going towards that direction, we do need a bit of space here for more belts. So that's why I want to stick to certain areas like this one here where we have now the automated science packs then. And then we can have the first um, assembling machine. Lines, we can once again have several of these lines if we want to. And all we need to do now, get the belts over there. The same thing for the wheels. Now that both belts are coming together, we do need once again a splitter. This one here will then join these belts that once again to one belt. So in that case, this belt goes up here. Right, so all we need then here is the fast inserters once again. So we can build a few while we plan those things. And in that case, we can join them together again with this one. Right, and this one here, we say that the input priority of this splitter is on the left side because we get way more copper plates than the iron wheels. So if I put this input priority to the left side, this one here gets the priority for the left side. So this will hopefully be reserved for the, for the left side then entirely. So if we connect them now, it should then look like the following. Very good. There it is. That was just some minor beginning error as I can see. But as we can see, we have now a nice merged belt here for those two because we need both of these resources for our science now the only thing that i need to do and that this is why i want to have a fast one here is is an inserter now the inserter needs to be really quick because it needs to get both of these resources right for those science packs here and then we just place everything on the science packs another thing that we still want to have here is while we plan this is we want to have a few more laps, right? We can go with 10 laps at the minimum. So I'm no longer going to rely on these two laps then, but I'm going to build up my laps up there. And here we have the first one of that. And as we can see, we can then have this belt here. On the other side, we can have more of these laps and that's exactly what I intend. So we are going to have another belt here where we're going to have the first batch of science packs then. And we can have another batch of, yeah, assembling machines then. I think we're doing that later though. I don't think we, ah, what the heck, let's do it. Right, and then we have another one of these. And of course, once again, they do need the science packs. And then all I need once again is, in this case here, I do need the long ones. Unfortunately, they're a bit slow. So I will probably need two of them later. Or if I see that it's a bit too slow, then I will probably go with two of them. And then we're going to have an inserter that puts that one onto the belt. And the same thing on the other side where this one here is putting it on the belt and back again, the science packs. Right, so actually everything here is ready, just needs power. And while we prepare for that, well, we do have now the labs coming up. Meanwhile, I've also finished a few gun turrets. So we do need those gun turrets. And while I continue building, um, I know that there are more of these critters coming. This side here seems to be pretty well def uh, defended for the moment. So we can have another stone mine, a few stone mines here then around this turret there. Right, so they're then trying to get into this corridor. Hopefully, that is my my goal. Right, on to this. And over here, we still don't have any defense. So they might also launch an attack then on that side. So let's have some turrets here. As well. Right, and those turrets do need some defense there again around them. And then we can fire them with some ammunition. Very good. Just in case if there is an attack on that side coming, I want my base protected from all sides. And when we zoom out, the base is starting to look like something, I say. That we have, oh, 92 automatic pick packs. I totally forgot about that. We have some ammunition here too. Let's put something in there again. 
So with that we should have some iron gear wheel. And ammunition we have plenty of again. And lots of research now for the heavy armor and then the steel axe. So let's get back down here. The labs. Labs are ready at this point. So the labs need... A bit of space. So we are going to have them right beside the poles. Our first five labs and then... Of course, a belt for the first red science. And look at how far we can go. We can have lots of um, labs here on both sides and that triple times if we want to for maximum research. And, oh, that is a mistake. I have to, of course, just set in hope that I have enough belts now for that. I should, yeah, works out. Perfect. And now here we just need, once again, some inserters. Right, Joe? And here we actually already have some energy. But it's fine. We're going to get rid of the smaller poles then in the future anyway, once we have the larger poles. Let's create a few more of them. And, oh yeah, we need so many more assembly pal. That's working out. All right, so we have it. Let's connect it to the power network. And production has now started. And as we can see, the science packs are being produced. In that case, we can upgrade these assembled machines then later. So we have now fast enough insurgents. And as we can see, our first automated science packs are coming out. And my guy probably is pretty happy with himself. They're being brought over here to the lab and thus we have finally automated research, at least for the rat pack. Right, we do have some belts again, very good. And the wheels I can then use right away on that. And so I no longer need to produce the science packs for this assembly here. So I can get rid and, well, produce something else here if I want to. And as we can see, we are producing more rat science than my labs can handle. So that's a good thing, we can increase the amount of labs that we have by another five I'd say all right and all they need really is some more fast insurgents and boom we have doubled our output of the science production very good now I want to check once again my energy production since we do have yeah our wooden chest here with the coal in it that is powering my steam engines um, do we have coal? Yeah, very good. Let's just get some coal to the chest back there. Oh, and we finished the heavy armor. And let's go with the logistic science pack, which gives us the next science pack that we need then. And here, let's put all the coal in that we have available right now, because we don't have to look out for that much longer. Now, let's just check real quick um, how much power we have and how much power we need, I think. Yeah, we don't have enough power anymore. So what we will need to do here is we're going to have another row of steam engines. So let's just build. I, th I don't think we have more. No, two more of them and one more boiler that we can use. And of course, we do need some more pipes. And uh, this is just in its way there, but it should yeah, it's still connect it. Oh, there we finished the logistics science pack. As we can see, we still have some research here left. So the... Steel axe, so this increases our mining speed, our manual mining speed, that is, though. Right, and here, let's connect the next boiler to it. There we have it. And this one has, once again, two steam engines, then. Connected with it. Right, it will also need another crate here with another inserter that is then delivering it some coal there from time to time. Let's put some coal in there so we do need a bit more coal here for that. And as we can see, yeah, we have now uh, energy production enough again. So we still have now 50% resources left on the energy. Just exactly what we want. This actually here we no longer need. I just take my iron plates and then we can get rid of this one. I don't need that many iron plates anymore. We haven't had any attack. Should I be worried? Let's rather have more guns. 
in the meantime as well. Perfect. Let's just get the coal that I've stored here in this chest and get it over to my energy production. And yep, I should be worried because just here we do have another, well, bigger attack. And I can actually lure them around. That is quite fine. Take a bit of the damage onto myself. And thus we have destroyed them. But as you can see, they were now coming on this side. Still from the same camp, most likely. Now, now that we have unlocked the logistics supply pack, let's have a look what they need. Because they need quite a lot. They need the transport belts and the inserters. Now, the transport belts are not the biggest problem. They need iron plate and iron gear wheel. So, that's two things that we already have. So, we can already use these gears here the wheels and the plates then at the same time you know so it's the same thing then here um so that's not the biggest problem the biggest problem here is the inserter because that needs iron plate iron gear and electronics so as we can see we already have lots of plants that we need now lots of these assembling machines because the wheel well first of all we need to double the wheel output here because the wheels are being needed for many many more things um and we need electronics and that is something that we don't have at this point first of all i want to reload my towers here and also reinforce my fortification around them right so they can shoot again and perhaps have yeah another one here and perhaps one here right they are going to shoot then as well defend ourselves because attacks are coming from the flanks now as well now for those things um, we are going to need the electronics electronics we can only get with copper cable and iron plate so that's two more productions once again we have copper uh, iron plates already but the wires they need uh, copper belts so the wires here the copper plate so we do need a production for the copper cables now and that's something we're going to do over here so that's kind of like an extension to the cables that I already have or we're doing the copper cables in here because we got some space no let's keep it clean let's have the cables here so for that we'll need quite a lot of these assemble machines and we're going to start with five i think or something like that so these guys here the copper plates need to get to that side how do they do that well we do need one of these um, underground belts right so we need some iron plates let's collect some that is something we can find down here i actually got quite a lot of that anyway and let's get some belts here let's get another splitter for that and then we have the assembling machines just here because we're going to need quite a lot of them. Um, the transport belts, we have enough anyway, so we can already start with the transport belt here. So in that case, since here we have lots of space, here we have the copper, um, I'm going to reserve three more tiles because we're going to have some major copper belts then being transported into that direction where everything regarding copper is being used then. Oh, and we are now better shooters. And the next one is increases the damage of physical project-based weapons, turrets, and defender robots. Very good. So my turrets will do more damage after this research. Now, the belts are going then towards this area. And as I said, this is going to be one of the major buses for my copper plates that we're going to have then in this area. Because I'm pretty sure on the map that we are going to have some copper around here somewhere, right? That I could then merge together here with the major belt system because this is only the first plate production of copper that we have now this is the major bus kind of like that continues then into that direction and it's good here it's going to split then and we're going to have oops that is a bit too close to the cliffs though i hate those cliffs let's put the assembly line first that we have here so this is the first row for our copper cables this one here that we have right because we need quite a lot of them anyway um what i can see is the iron the wheels are here as well so they're coming out on that side over here and then they're coming together there for the next production right so let's have a look we do need another belt going up here then there's another attack right but i think it was yeah basically nothing happened some smaller attack there i guess um here what i still need is then a few more of these longhand inserters and the fast inserters so let's just produce a few of them while we plan so there the cables are coming out and once again we have a second belt where we have the copper cables then that are going into this direction then over here the same thing now we do need the 
whole thing. We need the copper. And another attack is coming in as well. A very small one though. So that wasn't a big deal. Let's just reinforce or rearm my turrets. Also here a bit of defense then for my for this turret there. Very good. Just like that. Um, and here we got our first iron plate production that I can triple then as well. Because we can put it then horizontally and vertically. Very good. So we have finished our next research quite quickly. So my turrets will do more damage now. And in that case here, for the next researches, we do need already the logistics science pack. So we do have to hurry up, but there a bit. Now, what I want to do, first of all, we do have the copper plates then going here. We have the wires. We need more wheels. That is one of the first steps. So we need to use um, a lot more of my assembly machines. So that is another one. And we can have, yeah, we can expand it then to that, to those rows then in the future. And here we're going to use then, once again, and then just the power next to that and thus we have doubled our iron wheel production right away even though we don't need that much iron wheel at the moment but we're going to soon on this side let's continue so we do need a splitter that is then going to deliver the copper plates up here and then once again we do need quite a lot of these Very good for the wire production. And thus we have laid the first step. So next step, next episode, we're going to finish it then up here with our next logistics science pack production. Stay tuned.